Oh. Oh, it was all a dream. Fancy that. Phew. Think bad, think scary. I'm talking about backcombing, wedges, flicks, perms, and even the wet look. Here in the 80s, no one escaped the spray. The 80s were a decade that taste forgot. I mean, I looked terrific. There's no two ways about it. My hair was not great in the, in the 80s. You didn't have to look in a mirror. You could just feel it. I had a terrible hair, and I had it for ages. Honestly, my hair... Mm. Really unpleasant, really unpleasant. The mallet was basically two haircuts on one head. It was short and predominantly spiky on the top, and it had a disconnected long back. The hairdresser made a mistake, and what they were trying to do was layer long hair all the way through and started cutting the hair at the top of the head and realized halfway down that if he kept on going, there would be no hair left. <laughs> Pat Sharp, he was a mullet head, wasn't he? Once again, a number one, it's Pat Sharp. The mullet is an art form, it really doesn't happen overnight. Well, I don't know what to say. Congratulations, once again, you've got a lot of them now, haven't you? Well, thank you very much. It's amazing to win something once, but to win it twice is a real pleasure. You have to get it very short on the top and then get it very long down the back, a bit like Agassiz's early style. Uh, and then you cut the sides, again, shorter here as well. And then you end up, basically, um, Michael Bolton or Martina Navratilova. Uh, that's, the, that's, the, that's the side view. <laughs> well, what do you think? <laughs> you know, Robin of Sherwood had a mullet, didn't he? And Glenn Hoddle's mullet. Chris Waddle, his hair was pretty bad. He had a sort of a fluffy mullet. Limal, he had a fluffy mullet. Maybe Limal had the worst hair. I just don't know how anyone can look in a mirror and think to themselves, I look good with this. Limal was incredible. It's like having the sort of arse end of a duck just sticking up there, all these this terrible sort of dye job as well, so you can see these incredible roots. So that was bad enough, that's one haircut. The second haircut was the shaved bit at the sides there. So he's got two haircuts going. Then he had the third bit, the, the tri-mullet, which was that, just that long, wispy bit going at the back there. Three haircuts on one head, I think, is being a little bit greedy. It's a little bit selfish, and he looked like a massive tit. Could you Google the mile? Could he not afford a full bottle of Bon Blonde or what? It was there, it was like corn going through tarmac, you know. And I like Nick Beggs, the bass player. He was half man, half McGrath. You know, I, I thought, well, they might like it, but they're not going to copy it. But they were. So I, I was responsible for unleashing a wave of dodgy hairstyles on the nation. That's what I like to say. <laughs> hey, do you like flock of seagulls? I can see you do. It's not the way you look, it's not the way that you smile. I, I think a flock of seagulls were going to happen. It, you can't really blame anyone for that. It was, it was just waiting to happen. A flock of seagulls, I remember being quite possibly having the worst hair in the world. They looked like something out of Thunderbirds. Flock of seagulls. Um, flock of bird shit, more like, you know, with that kind of... Oh, it was awful. It was an insult, really, to those of us who actually did sculpt our hair. He obviously did this as a joke because his band were called a flock of seagulls. He thought he would have seagull wings on his head. You know, I used to imagine what that quiff must have looked like in the morning after a night's sleep. Fairly non-existent. But again, I must take my hat off to him for the bravery, the sheer gall of, of, of that huge, you know, amazing. Wet look crazy. Everybody gone wet look crazy, lad. The people, them amaze me. Oh, everybody gone wet look crazy, lad. I had a wet look. A jerry curl, the greasiest hairstyle ever to grace this planet. You wake up in the morning, change all your bedclothes because it was just all covered in grease. Your pillows, it was just wrecked. You'd pick them up and you'd go, I can never use this pillowcase again. Looking for me for must be jerry curl. Yeah, how'd you guess? And then you go into the bathroom and you just I need to ask you some questions about Cookie Head Jenkins. I don't know nobody named Cookie Head Jenkins. 
dogs come around here. Can't me no more. I used to actually have to sleep with a scarf over your head, and then I ended up sometimes with an old pair of knickers over my head, and then went to the shop next door with the knickers on my head. <laughs> I was gonna make him pay, not for kicking me in the stomach, but for dripping activator all over my suit. My cleaning bills were a bitch. Basically, you used to get your friend's mum or your mum, give you a relaxed perm, so all your hair was like, <laughs> you're loving this. Now we can show you the new Sun Silk hairsprays. Not to be outdone by the fellas, girls got the look in 1982 as well. The new Sun Silk hairsprays hold the look. Hair was interesting in the 80s, probably the most interesting it's ever been. I myself had big hair, big hair, like a lion's mane. I looked like Bonnie Tyler in a Force 10 Gale. Well, white girls, blonde girls used to have big hair. It was all up here, spray. You got a bit of it and it just snap off in your hand. It had so much spray in it. They didn't style it, they sculpted it. I would imagine that me and my friend Kevin must have contributed quite a lot to the depletion of the ozone there during the 80s. Mm. first came along we were very sweet and sugary and uh, we just, <laughs> our hairdresser was John Frieda and uh, Nicky Clark used to do my hair we used to laugh about it so we we put curlers in it and to make it as bouncy and fluffy as possible it was like an old woman's hair really my sisters used so much hairspray if I went in the bathroom I'd have to keep moving in case I set you know there was so much around and they find me two days later stuck to the toilet quite often in sort of an inappropriate position.